Today I'll be showing you the Comparison for Cases report in TestRail. The Comparison for Cases report is used to see which test cases you've been testing, how the results from tests of each case compare between different tests run over, over time, and what the test status is for your overall test coverage. I like to utilize this report to view test coverage, especially if you've run the same test multiple times as part of a test cycle. Now, let me show you how to generate this report by clicking on the reports at the top here, then coming over to the right side panel under the results category, and you'll see the comparison for cases button. Go ahead and click on that. You'll want to enter a name and description. I'm going to go ahead and type in test cycle for version 4.0 to reference the release we are currently testing. And as you scroll down, you'll see report options where you'll select which test cases to include in your report. Include the following sections. Allows you to show the results for specific sections of a test case that you'd like to display in the report, like if you wanted to see a report for a new set of functional tests specific to a new feature such as login and messaging. You can hold down to control to select multiple sections. I will be including all sections and selecting the filtering option below. Include test results of. So I'll be selecting that option. I'm going to click change here. I like to filter my test runs by milestone. So I've created the app release version 4.0 filter, which will display the test runs that are assigned to this specific milestone. You also have the option to select individual test runs by clicking the add test runs here. You can, you can select individual test runs manually, but today I will be going with the milestone. Once we're finished selecting test runs, we'll head over to the test cases tab for additional options. This top section gives you filtering options for which test cases you like to display in the report. And you can select filters such as priority, type. The column sections displays more information about the test cases that were run, for example, type and priority. So you can add those columns as well. So you am going to go ahead and add those columns. For the last two options here, I suggest selecting both as the first option gives you an idea of what specific tests are passing and failing across various test runs. And the second option adds an additional column that shows the most recent result for a given test case from whichever test run was run last. Now let's generate the report by clicking the add report button at the bottom. So here's our report, as you saw in the beginning of the video. The bar chart here shows you how many tests you've run in each run, and the colors give you a quick indication of the status of those results. As you scroll down, you'll see all the test runs referenced in the report here. The percentages over on the right indicate the percentage of passing tests within that specific test run which can indicate a major issue, for example, 0% here, that might need developers' attention. As you scroll down, you'll see a more detailed breakdown of the bar chart above showing percentages. And below, in comparison and coverage, is the meat of your report. Your sections are dis will be displayed along with each row being your test cases. The status is in each column show the results for the test you ran against those cases. Untested shows that you've planned to test that case as part of one of your runs, but haven't run that test yet. If the cell is blank, that means you haven't added any of those tests for this case as a part of your runs, you've added to this report. So there you have it. This report can be helpful in situations where you're running the same tests cases against different configurations, like browsers and mo mobile, operating systems, as well as identifying where tests are failing specifically. By running the comparison for cases report, you'll have a clear overview of your testing across multiple test runs in a given cycle, and you'll gain insight on your overall test coverage as it highlights which tests you may need to run if your test coverage is lacking.